How's it going YouTube? It's Marcus from Impulse Reefing. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do an unboxing video about the Coral View lens, smartphone and tablet gel lens. Uh, I kind of want to do an unboxing. I've already used it a couple times on my Instagram if you've seen some of my photos recently on there. So I just want to do an unboxing and kind of go over it. I thought it was really awesome. Really awesome product for sure. So Coral View lens, smartphone and tablet by Polyp Lab. So the kit, it says, includes lens support clip, a macro lens, 10 times, a filter lens, which is 20,000K, filter lens for 15K. So we take the sleeve off, it's just a sleeve and a white box. We'll open the white box and inside we have the macro lens, the clear macro lens right here. And then we have, this one is the 15K lens, the orange. We have the 20K lens, which is the yellow. And we have the clip here. We have a lens cap. And we have a clean cloth. So like I said, I already opened this kit once to use it. So it's not like, they usually come in like a protective sleeve. I kind of threw them away, but I just kind of want to go over the product. I thought it was really neat. So we have the clip, the clip has a nice rubber backing to protect your phone. It's got three different holes for your lens. So when you put it on your phone, you can either put it dead center to have a like, like kind of like a fish eye look, I guess. And then you can move it over to give it different, you know, effects and positioning and under the macro. So, all right, so this is the macro lens right here. So we'll just take it out, look at it. It's really nice. It's got a metal frame. Definitely a really nice lens, really nice quality. You can see it says Pop Lab Macro. Then you just take the lens and you just screw it on here on the clip. So there you got the macro lens, which is really nice. And then we'll take my tank looks really good under the under the uh, the 20k lens, the yellow lens. So we'll open that. And this one is also it's metal frame. And then you just. So you just screw the yellow 20K lens onto the macro lens like this. And I think it's perfect, it fits perfect. And it's actually really nice. I, I love this thing. I'm hoping that I get really good use out of it with my phone, my iPhone. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try to do my, when I do my tank updates and stuff like that, I'm definitely gonna use this for that. Hopefully it gives a better quality photo or video of the tank, not, you know, not so blue. We can actually see the colors and stuff like that. And then you got the lens cap here. The lens cap fits on the gel lens, like so. So we got the lens cap, it fits on the gel lens like this. So it actually fits really nice and it's, it's really nice uh, touch. Like the clip itself with the rubber on the clip actually covers up so you don't, so it actually covers the holes in the back to protect the lens. The macro lens. The only problem that I found with this is that if you just want to do the clear macro lens, that the cap itself doesn't really fit because the the macro lens has like a it's a dome, and so the cap, the lens cap actually doesn't really fit on the macro lens. That's the only issue that I found. Which it's not a big deal because normally you know you keep the you'll keep the gel lens on it, like, but. Yeah, perfect. So, if I wasn't filming on my iPhone, I would uh, definitely show you how it fits on the iPhone, but unfortunately I don't have that ability at the moment. Hopefully I get a new camera pretty soon and then I can start taking way better videos and quality, get a, get a microphone as well to go with it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the unboxing of that. I think it's a really awesome product. I'm really glad I bought it. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I did buy this from a local reef shop, from from a local uh, reef store, and I paid, I think it was like $35 for it. I'm not sure, I didn't really look at the prices online to compare it. It didn't matter, I supported my, 
my local fish store. So uh, hopefully you guys feel the same way and you do the same thing. I mean, 35 bucks for, from a local fish store, if it helps them stay open, it helps them keep providing me with awesome corals and awesome fish and product to <laughs> to try out and buy it and use it, eh, I'm okay with spending the extra money. All right, well. Okay, so here's my tank. After doing the unboxing, I just wanted to give a little weekly update on the tank. I'm currently using the Pop Lab 20K lens, the yellow lens, and we're just gonna use it and walk around the tank, or move around the tank and just do a little update on it. So, first of all, I added some new coral to the tank. Uh, the green ones, I believe, are radioactive dragon eye green, and then the orange ones, I have no idea what they are. The, the store owner didn't really know. He's not, my local fish stop, he's not really a big coral seller. He's actually a huge fish seller though he's got a ton of fish but so he didn't really know I picked these two up for $15 a piece um, so yeah hopefully they open up really nicely and I can start fragging them and put them on frag plugs and grow new colonies the Ross is doing really well they actually have brand new polyps growing uh, the sunny D's are doing good and the rainbow infusions as you can see there's a new polyp underneath there as well uh, the little ones back here are doing really well we'll move down the candy canes in the back are doing really good as well. The tank is a little dirty. I didn't really clean it for the update though, so I apologize. Um, so the acans are doing good. They're really fluffy and new growth. I also added a small frog of kidney tree. Uh, hopefully the kidney tree doesn't overtake this entire rock, but if it starts to get out of control, we're definitely gonna move it. Uh, green star pile doing good. I need to actually start cutting that back and fragging it and trading it or give, giving it away or something. The hammer's doing really good. I got you know new growth coming on it. The redactus, still just the two redactus mushrooms, and the frag is doing really well as well. The torch in the back, uh, he's, I guess he's like a short torch. I don't know. He's been like that since I got him, so I don't know if he's gonna get any bigger. I'm not sure if he's just not happy. I don't really know. Um, I've had that one for about eight months, and that's that's all I get. I guess he's just like a short tentacle torch. I'm not really sure. Okay, so, we're on to the side. These clothes are doing really well. Uh, I'm not really sure the type of clove. If y'all know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe somebody can give me some help on identifying this one. Uh, also, I would like to add a neon green toadstool onto this rock and have it peek up over the back of this rock just to add some like architectural definition to the tank. I think it'd be great. Uh, so, yeah, that's this is gonna be it. I'm going to switch over to the 15K and let you guys get a view and then I'll take it off and show you without any of the gel lenses. All right, so this is with the 15K gel lens on it. So it definitely looks bluer, a little d darker. Um, my current light is midday, so the current lights are kind of bright and not really blue at all. Um, but yeah, this is just an update. This is how it looks. And I'm going to take it off so you can see how the tank looks without any filter. So yeah, definitely there's blue light, but it's not, like it says midday, so it's the high peak of the light. And that's really going to be it for the video. Just wanted to give an update on everything. Thank you guys.